E3 2016 is right around the corner and you guys know it's the time for the biggest game announcements and surprises. So like always before E3 we put our speculation hats on and we're bringing you guys 10 E3 rumors that might be coming true. Starting off with number 10, I'm expecting CD Projekt Red to be making a huge splash with a real big look at Cyberpunk 2077. This is their new cyberpunk themed RPG that they started work on even before they finished The Witcher 3. Judging from a recent interview from the heads at CD Projekt Red, it seems like things are amping up with this game and it's been in the works for so long. We think this year at E3 is finally going to be the time where we see a real debut. Not just a cinematic teaser trailer, but the real game. There's been lots of murmurs about it making its debut and we're hoping that it's true. Just think about how huge that could be. Cyberpunk 2077 has the potential to just steal the show and make a huge splash and be the thing that everybody's talking about. Most importantly because it's going to be kind of unexpected at least to mainstream audiences. And at number nine, of course, we have to talk about Bethesda. Last year's E3, Bethesda had their first big conference right up there with Sony and Microsoft, and it was big because of Fallout 4. That is a huge deal and worthy of holding an event. This year again, they are hosting an event, but the big question is, what are they gonna show? We're obviously going to be seeing more of Dishonored 2, some real gameplay from it, and it's safe to say that maybe they're gonna showcase something new for Doom, a little bit more of Battlecry, unfortunately, and probably some stuff for Elder Scrolls Online too, but there's gotta be something big there, right? There's gotta be something that justifies renting out an entire arena just to show a bunch of people new stuff, right? The rumors are kind of all over the place for this, this one and nothing really concrete or even close to being concrete. But there's a couple of things you can obviously maybe expect. Some more Fallout 4 DLC. Maybe, just maybe, the next Elder Scrolls game? That seems like a bit of a reach, but Bethesda has said that they are working on a bunch of big projects. Uh, there's also still, I'm holding on to hope that they bring back Prey. Remember how awesome Prey 2 looked? And then it was kind of brushed under the rug with rumors every once in a while bringing it back. I'm hoping that now we finally get our chance. Last year we got The Last Guardian, maybe this year we can get Prey 2. At least for me. And then of course there's always the talk of Skyrim Remastered, the way Bethesda worked on remastering Skyrim for Xbox One and PS4 just to learn the architecture of the new console. So maybe now they'll just release it to us. Maybe guys, please? That could at least tide us over another year until the next Elder Scrolls game, which is pretty inevitable, but we have no idea. And at number eight, the word on the street is that we are going to get a big look at Destiny's fourth expansion. This is kind of a no-brainer if you think about it. Activision has so much money in Destiny still, and their game plan is long-term, so we might finally be seeing that fourth expansion and the new raids and whatever comes with it. Will we get another look at the next Destiny game? I don't know. I don't think they would shoot themselves in the foot announcing new features while also showing off the next game. I think that's a little bit of crazy talk. But with Activision Blizzard and so much going on with Overwatch right now, Activision has to rein it back in with one of their big expensive properties. That will be Destiny, and you can definitely expect, like last time around, Sony is going to be favored here and they're gonna get some special content first. And at number seven, it seems like a thing or at least a potential thing every year, a PlayStation 4 or Xbox One price drop. We might even see a slim version of the Xbox One. More on that in a little bit. This is all really up in the air thanks to the other rumors of upgraded consoles, but could we see a price drop? There's a good chance we could, especially if upgraded consoles are a thing. Expect the older, outdated consoles to be cheaper, maybe 50 bucks. That's of course wild and reckless speculation by us, but it's something to think about. And at number six, in the rumor mill, every once in a while you hear Rocksteady. What's Rocksteady's next game? They're done with the Arkham franchise, so what are they working on now? With the assumption that they're still with Warner Brothers, the ideas of course go to new superhero games. Of course, there was that rumored apparent leak of a Superman game they were working on a few months ago. Still don't know how much legitimacy that holds, if any, but I definitely think the timing is right here for something like that. They've been done with Arkham Knight for a while now and are probably ready to move on and announce their next venture. And oh my God, superhero or not, I can't wait to see what it is. I just hope they don't mess up the PC version this time. And also, since we are on the topic of superheroes, there is of course that rumor that Sucker Punch Studios is working on the Spider-Man property. That is of course another far-flung rumor, but one that I definitely, definitely hope comes true. And at number five, as much as you might not want to hear this, expect EA to generally have a great show this year. This is thanks to Star Wars, Mass Effect, and Titanfall 2 and maybe something else we don't know about. I'm betting that we are finally gonna get a look at all the other Star Wars games they have in the works. Most notably, Visceral Studios' Star Wars game with former Uncharted lead Amy Hennig at the helm. This is the action-adventure one that there's a lot of hype behind, but not a lot of information. You know, could it be a resurrection of 1313 or something new? We don't know, but we're hoping it's awesome. And hoping content-wise it fares better than Battlefront. I think this is the year, finally, 
finally we're gonna get a look at actual real gameplay from Mass Effect Andromeda. And expect Titanfall 2 to come out guns blazing, not only showcasing new stuff with the game, like mech swords, but also really doubling down and showing people that there will be a single player component because single player is gonna be back in this year. And then of course, for you sports fans, and you know, much to the chagrin of most of us, expect a lot of boring sports talk once again, because it is EA. And at number four, let's talk about these upgraded consoles, all right? The biggest thing is PlayStation 4.5, also known as PlayStation 4 Neo, and the talk of an Xbox 1.5 slash Xbox One Slim. The ramifications, the ideas, and the executions behind these new upgraded consoles is a whole other video, but just the fact that they could be announced this year seems likely. The rumors are really hot right now, and they all seem fairly credible. They're from bigger trusted sources, and with how these current gen consoles are already having a little trouble keeping up here and there, it does kind of make sense, even though it might suck for some consumers. Everybody has a different opinion, but it seems like it might be real. Also, since we are talking about Sony and Microsoft, especially from Sony's side, definitely expect a lot of VR talk. With PlayStation VR launching soon, but no real actual tangible good looking experiences for it yet, expect Sony to come out of the gate showing off real killer app VR games. At least I hope so. And at number three, let's talk about Watch Dogs 2. Watch Dogs 2 is definitely a thing. It's been acknowledged by Ubisoft and we've seen a leak at what might look like the main character as generic as he seems to be. But I think this is the time to show it off because the rumor is that it's going to essentially replace the missing Assassin's Creed that was supposed to be releasing this year. You know, because every year we get an Assassin's Creed, but this year they're skipping it. So they're replacing it with Watch Dogs 2. Heads at Ubisoft have spoken about how Watch Dogs 2's different tone and vibe will surprise people. So I'm looking forward to an exciting trailer. I know the original Watch Dogs wasn't received so hotly by some, but the potential was there. So for a Watch Dogs 2 to pull an Assassin's Creed 2, that could be an amazing thing. And at number two, you know we were going to acknowledge it with all the rumors flying around of all different things. We got to acknowledge Rockstar and a Red Dead Redemption 2 or a Red Dead 3 or a Red Dead new word that starts with the letter R. Looking at 2K financials, it looks like it's not actually coming out this year, but Rockstar and 2K has publicly said that they are working on new things. And with all the subtle little leaks and rumors here and there, it does seem like the next thing is going to be the next Red Dead game. If that really is going to be the case, but we don't see it debut at E3, uh, maybe, I'm just wishful thinking, but maybe at the Microsoft conference, they'll come out and officially announce Xbox One backwards compatibility for Red Dead Redemption. But a guy can dream. This one's very up in the air, but it's high on our list because it's like really freaking exciting. And at number one, we have Resident Evil 7. This has been the newest talk of the town and probably one of the more exciting E3 rumors out there. Capcom has gone dark and back to the drawing board for Resident Evil, apparently with some people and some ideology from PT coming over and with Capcom publicly speaking about how they want to return to their roots with the series. They've also spoken about how they want to embrace VR for this. With Resident Evil, when it started being on the forefront of a new type of experience, maybe a new direction for the series is going to be with VR and next-gen gaming. VR or not, I'm just excited for a new Resident Evil because I think Capcom is very aware of their mistakes with Resident Evil 6. They're hungry, they're excited, they're energized, they want to return to their roots, and I'm really hoping and wishing that they want to wow us. Maybe I'm being a little optimistic here, but what can I say? Resident Evil is close to my heart. Guys, these are the rumors of E3 2016 that you need to know about. These are the things that people are talking about, speculating about, wishing, hoping, and even hearing some whispers about. Of course, the real important thing is that we want to hear from you guys in the comments. What are you excited to hear from at E3 this year? What are you hoping is revealed? Of course, there's a lot of other stuff we didn't touch on, like a new look at Final Fantasy VII, maybe more Scalebound, maybe more Crackdown 3, something else Microsoft has up their sleeve, and maybe Half-Life 3 will finally be announced. We have no idea. So we want to hear from you guys. Anything you hope gets announced, let us know in the comments. And you guys know, liking this video helps us out so much, and we appreciate it. But if this is your first time coming around, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.